Hi everybody, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. How are you guys? Welcome. Hi, good night. Hello, hello. How are you? Good night, teacher. I'm good. Hi, good, good night, sure. teacher. Good, good night, teacher. Good How are you? Is everything Hi. okay? Good, good. Fine. Excellent. All right, let's begin. Everybody, and the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to pass attendance. Voy a pasar lista ahorita. Es que, remember, once you listen to your name, stay present. Let's begin. Alejandro? Cecilia? Present. Okay. Claudia Garcia? Claudia García. Here. Delmi Mendoza. Present. Edith Castillo. Presente. Eduardo Vázquez. Present. Okay. Evelyn Cruz. Evelyn Cruz. Thank you. Fatima de Leon. Fatima de Leon. Here. Eselda Garcia. Present. Thank you. Eselda Mendoza. Eselda Mendoza. Eselda Mendoza. Here, here. Ingrid Coreas. Present. It is Cosme. Present. Okay. Irvin Lopez. Irvin Lopez. Jose Arcia. Here, teacher. Okay. Karen Arriola. Karen Ariola. Kevin Lopez. Kevin Lopez. Huh? Let's go with Lea Enriquez. Y aquí, presente. Yeah. Marcelino Mejía. Marcelino Mejía. Marta Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Andres. Marvin Andres. Mirna Vázquez. Present. Thanks. Mirna Herrador. Present. Mirna Stoniga. Presente. Okay. Norma Martínez. Norma Martínez. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Let's go with Oscar Monge. Yeah, no Present. Okay. Paula Rodríguez. Presente. Okay. Orlando Hernández. Roxana Marcela. Roxana Marcela. Here. William Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Martínez. Present. And Yolanda Hernández. Present. Okay. Una vez más, aquí no he mencionado. Bien que se acaba de ver. Oh, Karen, que el Riola. Karen Arriola. Tuve okay. problemas con él, pero ya estoy. Present. Right. Thank you. 
Karen Arriola. Okay. All right. Well, let's begin, everybody. I'm going to take a screenshot. Vamos a tomar una captura. Por favor, recuerden encender su cámara. Vamos a tomar una captura. Voy a tomar una ahorita porque necesito tener dos por lo menos. Por lo menos. Voy a tomar una ahorita y luego voy a tomar la otra. ¿Ok? Hasta el final. Let's go on a camera for you. La cuento tres, todos, para que no salga nadie distraído. Uno, dos, tres. Here. Okay. Well, um, quiero saber cómo vamos con la plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos por el momento? Hemos iniciado. ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo bien por el momento? Yes. ¿Hay preguntas, dudas? Pues, eh, pregunta. Dice, hola Maitra, ¿cómo está? ¿Preguntas? No. Este, teacher. Ya, yeah, dígame. Bueno, en mi caso, hoy tuve la oportunidad de estar trabajando en la plataforma. La verdad es que no está complicado. ¿Qué? Logré avanzar por lo menos 50 de, de, de la... De, de la, la primera unidad, digamos, de la primera unidad, 50%. Y tuve la oportunidad también de, de repasar los vídeos que ya habíamos visto y el, y el, el que va, me imagino que vamos a ver ahora. Okay. Así es que motivada y, sí, y con ganas de seguir adelante en la plataforma. ¿verdad? Good, good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Lisa, una, una sugerencia... Eso es para, para todos que quisiera hacer, por favor. Um, si podemos mantener nuestro mic micrófono apagado, que ¿okay? si no nos vamos, por ejemplo, utilizando. Se lo pido de ahora. Y, ¿Y eso por qué? Porque a veces, como hay diferentes, uh, ustedes saben, ruidos o distracciones, entonces se, se tiende a escuchar, ¿ok? Y no quiero que todos en los casos van a tener esa interrupción. ¿eh? ¿Me entienden? Si es que tal, se los pido de favor para que no, no tengamos ese conveniente. ¿eh? En cuanto participemos, claro que sí. ¿eh? Por favor. Um, lo otro, tal vez a ver si alguien más, tiene, si alguien más quería comentar algo. Okay. Si hay algún inconveniente, algún problema con la plataforma, pueden, acá lo pueden comentar, lo pueden comentar con anticipación en el grupo WhatsApp. Ahí estamos verificando, vi que estaban, que estaban temprano preguntando por el comprobante, eso es lo que quiero preguntar ahorita, si todos lo recibieron. Sí, sí. yo ya lo tengo. En, en mi caso, caso no, no dicho. Sí. Okay. Um, Yolanda eh, Sí, yo tengo una duda con relación a lo de la plataforma la parte no. donde dice discusión, esa parte es cómo es que se va a utilizar Ah, oh, ok, ok, this one, right esa parte eh, No, en la parte de arriba allí que dice oh. discusión Discusión Sí, sí esa Ah, en ese caso eh, va por, por sección, es lo mismo de acá. Uh -huh. en, en cada video, en cada video que ustedes vean, según cada sección, tienen un, una parte o una área de, de discusión que se refiere a eso. Es como cuando nosotros, por ejemplo, estamos en, en Facebook o estamos en, en YouTube, eh, podemos agregar comentarios. En ese caso, en cada video, la persona que que explica en el video, al final dice o hace preguntas referente a lo que estuvo explicando. Entonces, en esta discusión es como un, un foro. foro. Entonces, acá ustedes pueden agregar alguna respuesta con base en lo que probablemente el, el presentador haya preguntado. Entonces, podemos poner nuestras respuestas en la discusión. Ese es la, el, el propósito que ustedes 
cuando hayan visto los videos, puedan sacar esas personas, poner sus refuerzos en el chat, por si acaso en el, en el foro, o en el área de, de comentarios. Ahí pueden ustedes agregar su, sus respuestas. O dar ejemplos, dependiendo de lo que la persona del video respira. Okay. Eso es lo que deben de hacer en cada dis discusión. Le llaman así como un foro. Si le... Thank you, teacher. Okay. Ah, bueno, con, re con relación a, al comprobante, quisiera hacer la siguiente pregunta. ¿Estamos todos o nos ingresamos al grupo WhatsApp? ¿Todos estamos en el grupo WhatsApp? Yes. Sí. Sí. Entonces, hago esa pregunta porque en el grupo WhatsApp tus compañeros compartieron el comprobante. Si es que si no hemos revisado el grupo WhatsApp, les pido el favor que lo revisemos porque ahí se compartió ese comprobante. Si no lo tienen, no sé, por cualquier cosa, me avisan y yo se lo puedo compartir. Aquí lo tengo. Tengo descargado. Entonces, se lo puedo compartir. Cuando me dicen, me escriben si gustan, me contactan y yo se los comparto. Ok. okay. Si alguien más tiene alguna duda. Question. ¿Vale? Hasta el día de mañana tenemos para presentarlo, ¿verdad? Exacto. Hasta mañana tienen para enviarlo. ¿Okay? Es que recuerden de imprimirlo, llenarlo, firmarlo y luego escanearlo. Luego, luego lo han escaneado ustedes o lo deben de enviar al contacto que les enviaron. Creo que es un correo. Okay. Ahí se lo van a recibir, solo ahí. No por WhatsApp a otra autoridad, o a mí incluso. Debe estar ahí ese correo. ¿eh? Bueno, no sé si hay alguien más tiene otra duda, otra pregunta. Por lo general, so, este, a mí no me llegó al correo, pero sí me lo enviaron de un número de WhatsApp. Okay. Entonces ahí me piden que lo envíe a ese número de WhatsApp. Oh, okay. Perfecto. Entonces, si se los piden, si piden que se los envíen ahí, Ahí enviamos. Ok. Yeah. Um, decía eso porque no sé si se las envían al correo o se las envían directamente a WhatsApp. Pero si se las han enviado directamente a WhatsApp, sí. les han pedido que lo envíen ahí mismo, ahí mismo. Yeah. No se preocupe. Uh, bueno, por cierto, quería decir lo siguiente. Siempre que iniciamos, uh, les pregunto acerca de la plataforma, les pregunto cómo va todo el trabajo, si tienen dudas, preguntas. Que les digo eso porque... Que, Hago eso al inicio para saber si todo está en orden, si hay dudas, si hay preguntas, etc. Y pues luego iniciamos. Entonces, que ah, les hago nuevamente la pregunta: si hay dudas, comentarios. ¿No es cierto? Eh, teacher. Um, ya. Yeah. Este, y con respecto a la asistencia, eh, ¿cómo va a ser la dinámica cuando la vaya tomando? Yo ahorita, bueno, pasé lista, no sé si alguien acaba de ingresar. Ah, es que yo entré como, creo que cinco minutos después que anduve buscando lo que es el link, porque uh, no, no tengo el link directamente en el correo yo. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Me comparte. Ah, que lo tengo que buscar oh, eh, en, en, en los grupos de WhatsApp. Ok, ¿me, me comparte su, su nombre, por favor? Eh, Kevin Eleazar López Domínguez. Ah, ok. Bueno, aquí llevo el control yo, como pueden observar. Y luego está llevando, siempre voy a estar pasando esta. Hola, buenas noches. Eh, mire, teacher, yo tenía problemas con el audio y no escuchaba lo que usted decía. No sé si me tomó a mí la asistencia. ¿Qué me por favor? De León de Trinidad, Fátima del Carmen. Fátima del Carmen, right? Sí. Thank you, thank Gracias. You. Ok, um, Quiere hacer una preguntita. Griselda Raquel, ¿puede usar su micrófono ahora? Si pudo acceder, Griselda. Micrófono. ¿Se me escucha? ¿No me sabes, por favor? Uh, bueno, vamos a iniciar. ¿Hay más dudas? ¿Hay preguntas? Let's begin. Well, this is session number two. And today the topic is possessives. My, your, his, her. And these are called possessive adjectives. 
Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Oh, okay. Um, so what's a person of priority? Is that right? Oh. Tiene, lo tiene apagado el micrófono. Ok, no lo escucho. Verifique, no, no, no se preocupe. Ok, um, well, I was, I was telling you that today we will talk about possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Possessives. My, your, his, her. That is the topic for today. Today is Tuesday, May 18th. 2021. What do we have for today? Moving on. Let's begin with this. Here we have some personal pronouns or subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Those are subject pronouns. Okay? So, pronoun personalities, right? I, yo, you, tu, okay? E, L, P, E, it, it depends in Spanish, puede ser este, esto, etc. We, nosotros, you, ustedes, they, ellos, right? Those are the subject pronouns or personal pronouns. What we have to do when we're talking about possessive adjectives, we have to associate those personal pronouns with the possessive adjective. For example, I say my. 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 You, that is a subject pronoun. The possessive adjective is your. Your. My. Your. He is his. He is. He, his, he, okay, her, he, and the possessive adjective is her, her, my, your, his, her, again, my, your, his, her, continue, it, it, and the possessive adjective is its, its. We, that is a subject pronoun. The possessive adjective is our, 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 okay? You, again, your, your. Let's go again. My, your, his, her, her, its, its, our, our, your, your, and the last one, they, their. Listen, they, that is the subject pronoun, they, their. They, their, their. Let's go again. My, your, yes, this, her, 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 it's, 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 our, it's, our, our, our. Our, our, 
and the there. last one is there. 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 So these are the possessive adjectives. Okay, we're going to focus on those ones, the possessive adjectives. Okay, and when do we use them? We use them because we want to talk about something. I mean, let's say a, a possession. Okay? possession. Queremos referirnos a una posesión, etc. Algo que nos pertenece o algo que queramos usar. For example, when you say, my name is who. Okay? My name is who. For example, if I say, your name is Paula. Your name is Paula. Your name is Paula. For example, can you see? I can say his name is Marvin. His name is Marvin. Her name is, her name is Edith. Her name is Edith. Her name is Edith. For example, if we're talking about an animal, let's say a, a, a cat, its name is Pelusa. Its name is Nice. Pelusa, or want to say a, a dog, for example, its name is, uh, I don't know, Pure Lives, for example, its name is Pure Lives, okay? Next, our, our, our names are, for example, Lea, Paula, Ingrid, and Hugo. Our names are Lea, Paula, Ingrid, and who? Okay. Your, your. In this case, your is plural. Your is, in this case, is, 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 is in plural. Is. Your, the first your is singular. Your is singular. El otro is plural. Tú o usted? Eres. Eres. I mean, when I say you, you, right? Then you, then you, then it. It's in plural. The deposition artist, for example, they say, your names are Fatima and Iris. Your names, your names are Fatima and Iris. And the last one, their, their names are, let's say, their names are Zelda, Mirna, and Karen. Ellos, okay? Their names. Nombres son Zelda, Mirna, and Karen. Okay? And those are the possessive I. Let me show you how they work. For example, my, like I said before, my name is, my name is Google. We can locate the possessive adjective. What is the possessive adjective? What is the possessive adjective? My. My. My name my. is. My. My name is. Then we have, we can see uh, in, in this picture, we can see three, let's say, boys. Three boys. And Two of them are point, they are pointing person, a boy. So they can say they Good are boy. pointing the boy. His name is Eduardo. His Good name man. is Eduardo. Okay. The two boys are referring to Eduardo. His name is Eduardo. Okay. So that is the way we use. The possessive adjectives. What is the possessive adjective in this example? Yes. 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 Exactly. Okay, moving on to the following part. Any questions so far? No. No. Okay. Yo tengo una. Sure, tell me. Con respecto al utilizar el adjetivo posesivo my, se podría utilizar, o sea, interpretar de la manera que como dice mi, cuando sería mío. ¿Cómo sería? Sería igual. 
Oh, no, no. In that case, it's different. Sería diferente. Yeah. But it's another ah, bueno. one. In ese caso, es diferente. Son otro tipo de, de pronombres. No fact possessive pronouns. Estos son pronombres posesivos. Creo say, que se refiere a la persona, ¿verdad? Si es en primera persona o en segunda persona, ¿verdad? Creo yeah. que ahí estaría lo de la escritura, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Yeah. For, you say my name is Hugo. So these possessive adjectives can go, can go, sorry, in different places. In this case, it is at the beginning. In ese caso, está al inicio. Right? But you can have the possessive adjectives in other places. It can be in the middle, for example. That's great. Teacher, y, y podría poner un ejemplo del your en singular y plural. Sure. Please. Yeah, for example, uh, your name is Josué. And I can say your names are Josué and it is. So I'm referring to you too. It is and Josué. This is in plural. But it's a difference that in the first one I mentioned just one person, and in the second one I mentioned two people. You, your name is Jose, and your names are Jose and Felix. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, sure. Let's go over some other examples. Okay, here we have now. Again, we have some children. And now we have two boys and one girl. So now we're referring to the girl. So the two boys are pointing the girl. I mean, they are referring to her. Her name is Roxanne. Her name is Roxanne. Okay. We're referring to the girl. We're saying her name. Her name is Roxanne. Okay. And it is again singular. It is singular. Okay. Another example is when you have plural, for example. Now we have three boys. Three boys. What is the possessive adjective, guys, that we use? What do you think? What is the form of They are. There. There. Their names, names are, are Tre, Pedro, Josue, and, Juan. and Juan. Their names are their Jose, names their name Pedro, and Juan. Are Jose, Pedro, and Juan. Exactly. That is the way. Okay. Well, um, like I said before, we can place the possessive adjective at the end. I'm sorry, at the beginning. Again, my name is Hugo. But if you say this is my pencil, different, it's my pencil. Mm -hmm. Because now my is in the middle. Podemos utilizar el, el, el los posesivos en diferentes posiciones. Okay. This could be another example. But right now, listen, I don't want you to get confused. I mean, I'm, I'm just giving you that detail. Like, let's have a uh, explanation, explanation. Right now, we're using it this way. My name is. Okay. Any questions so far? Any questions so far? Una okay. pregunta. Yeah, tell me. El it se utiliza para referirnos a animales o cosas. Exactly. It's it is for animals. Animals. As the objects. Or I don't know. Let's say places, things, etc. So it depends. With Let's say animals, specifically with pets, dogs, cats, 
in terms of use it, its name is, for example, um, doggy. In the case of the oración de el lápiz, or del lapicero. Oh, okay. Mm, but in that case, it's, diff yeah, it's, it's the thing, for example, referring to a, a pencil. You can say, its color is blue. So we know that we're talking about a pencil. Pencil. But it's a way, yeah, we use it with objects. Its color is blue. We're referring to the color, the color. Or its color is blue, and I'm referring to a pen. Pen. Its color is blue. Claro, podemos utilizarlo con objetos, animales, etc. ¿Qué caso? Let's say that I'm talking about the pen. The pen. Entonces, con relación a la, a la oración, también se podía colocar It's my pencil. It's, it is, yeah, it's my pencil. It's my pencil. Or it could be like, it is, it is my pencil. You can, yeah. Esa es otra forma. Claro que sí, podemos utilizar el, el adjetivo posesivo en el medio. For example, when I say, it is my pen in this case, it is my pen. It is my pen, it is my pen, okay? Va a depender cómo lo utilizamos. Okay. Does it make sense? Vamos a ver hasta el momento. Yes. Hello. <coughs> right now we're just in the, the possessive adjectives at the beginning. Okay. I don't want it to get confused. Ahorita estamos utilizando los adjetivos posesivos al inicio, ¿ok? No, no, los, no quiero que nos confundamos. Más adelante los vamos a utilizar de otra manera, ¿ok? Quiero que se confunda. Teacher. ¿Ya? Yeah. Y para decir, um, eh, el perro es mío y se llama eh, Dobby. Sería, it's my uh, it's my dog. It's name Toby. Yeah, it's my dog. Its name is. Repeat again. Uh, okay. Toby. Doggy. Okay. Yeah. This is as you can see. We have a combination. It's my dog. It is my, my dog. dog. Its name is Doggy. So oh, we okay. have two possessive adjectives. We can okay. use them this way. Podemos utilizarlos en esta forma. Tenemos dos ideas, dos oraciones, y estamos utilizando dos adjectives. Podría ser una combinación. Y es, it is correct. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. Uh, yesterday, uh, when uh, question, uh, sorry, what? What is your last name? And the answer is Batres, for example. What are the different when I say um, my last name is Batres? Yeah, I got you. Very good. What's your last name? Let's say my last name is Vasquez. Or you can say it's Vasquez. Both ways are correct. Ambos, ambos respuestas are, are correct. Okay. Why? Because when you say, what's your last name? My last name is Vasquez. You say it is Vasquez, it's okay. Tendemos, tendemos a hacer estas, estas formas, respuestas, como para no tomar tan redundante. Okay. Como decir, por ejemplo, otra vez, mi apellido es. Como decimos, es Vázquez. Como Vázquez. En, en inglés es muy... Debemos de ser bien cuidadosos. En cuanto a... Cuando estamos escribiendo un párrafo, por ejemplo, un pequeño párrafo. Y, por ejemplo, decimos... 
iniciamos como my last name is Vasquez, etc. Y podemos utilizar estas formas como para no repetir tanto, no repetir lo mismo. Por ejemplo, if someone asks you, what's your last name? It's Vasquez. If you say it's Vasquez, it's Rodriguez, it's Martinez, it's correct. So you can say my last name is Vasquez or it's Vasquez. Y al decir it's Vasquez sería de la manera informal o, mm. o formal. It is not informal. It is not informal. But, I mean, if you say my last name is Vasquez, you are following the prompt. Si decimos mi apellido es Vasquez, como en español, estamos siguiendo la estructura. Lo ideal es seguir la estructura y contestar con base en la pregunta. Es decir, dar a respuestas completas. Respuestas completas. What is your last name? My last name is Vasquez. What is your name? What's your name? My name is Hugo. Okay. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Pleasure. Okay, now let's go with the way we use the possessive adjectives if someone used any questions. For example, what's your name? What's your name? What is the possessive adjective in that case? You. Your. You. Your. Your. Your name. Your. Remember, what's equals what is. What equals what is, as we said in the, in the previous Quartier. class, wax is a contraction. We, we mm -hmm. have the, the way contracted, right? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is, my name is, and we include a process adjective. My, my name is who. For example, um, Thea, what's your name? My name is Lea. Yes, My name is Lea. Yeah. So that is the first possibility, right? Another possibility, for example, if we ask, let's say about Lea, what's her last name? Her last name is? Okay. Her last name is Enriquez. Her last name Enrique. is? Enrique. El Enrique. Exactly. What's her last name? We're talking about Lea. Her last name is Enriquez. Her last name is Enriquez. And here yes. I have an example. Her last name is Martinez. Her last name is Martinez. For example, if I ask you about, let me see who. Let's go with. Jennifer, what is her last name? What is her last name? Her last name is? We're talking about Jennifer. Estamos hablando de, de, haciendo una pregunta acerca de Jennifer. What is her last name? Her last name is? Yeah, her last name is Martinez. Martinez. For example, if I ask you for Paula, what is her last name? My last name is Rodriguez. Okay, uh, Paula said my last name is Rodriguez. Good, that is the way. But if I ask you for Paula, guys, what is her last name? Her last name is? Her last name is Rodriguez. Rodriguez, good. Her last name is Rodriguez. Thank you, Kevin. What about... Griselda Noemi, what is her last name? Her last name is Garcia. Yeah, that is your last name. In your case, Griselda, you say my last name, my last name is Garcia. But if I ask all of you, what is her last name? Her last name is 
Is that the name? said, my last name is Garcia. What is her last name? My last name, last name is Garcia. In this case, her last name. Last name is Garcia. Oh, I'm sorry, you, you told me the answer. Yeah, my last name is Garcia. In your case, it's okay because you're referring to you. In this case, I know she's referring to her. But if I ask her about her, what is her last name? Her last, her last name is Garcia. Exactly, her last name is Garcia. What about if I ask you another way? What are their names? What are their names? Their names are Jose, Maria, and Juan. In this case, we're referring to a group of people or a group of friends. What are their names? Their names are Jose, mm -hmm. Maria, and Juan. Or their names are Mirna, Karen, and Marvin. Or their names mm -hmm. are Oscar, Kevin, and Ingrid. Okay. Or their nice, their names are Alejandro and William. So it depends. It depends on who we are referring to. Any questions so far? They want us to come? Vamos a ver en ese momento. Uh, una pregunta. Sure, tell me. Eh, Cuando se usa el, el posesivo tail, eh, es indiferente del género. O sea, no, no, no cambia si es masculino o femenino. The last one. Eh, you say, what, what are their names? Right? Pero quiero esa pregunta. ¿Eso? Sí, yeah, in this case, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it is a woman or it is a, it is a man. We can say, what are the names? Their names are Evelyn, Mirna, and Del. What are their names? Their names are Kevin, Eduardo, and William. It doesn't matter. If we use his, his is for singular, this is just for men, and her is for women. His is just for men, and her is for women. Esos adjetivos posesivos son específicos para el hombre o Para referirse a, a varias cosas o varios lugares, por ejemplo, de esta manera. Oh, yeah, exactly. That is another one. For example, you can say their names are, uh, let's say, Enrique, let's say, Poqueron, and El Tunco. I mean, you know, we have to be, you know, more specific, right? Let's change some names. Let's talk about digits. Uh, for example, their names are Diego, El Mahawal, and El Tunco. So we're referring in this case to some digits. digits. Exactly, we can refer to places. Like places. Uh, for example, if you're talking about apartments, their country or cities, you can say the names are uh, San Salvador, Coyapango, and uh, Santa Tecla. Okay, yeah, we can refer to places too. Places. Okay, any questions? Anybody else?
Of course, we can use this statistic additive in other ways. You can say because we're referring to possessions. Possessions. For example, if you say, let me give you some extra examples. My cell phone is new. My cell phone is new. Okay. Another example, we can say um, his computer is um, let's say expensive. Expensive. Okay, yeah. Or we can say their cards are blue. So that is what we use. And we have some possessions, cell phone, computer, cards. Okay. Any questions? Okay, ones, ones. Vamos bien? Okay. Cierto, antes de continuar. ¿Quién ha mencionado? Marcelisa, cuando iniciamos, creo que alguien no hace falta. Menciono lo que no voy a volver a pasarles ahorita. Ay, no. su nombre? Orlando, sí. right? No. Ya. Voy a mencionar lo que no está. No lo tengo acá seleccionado. Vamos a iniciar con Claudia. Claudia García. Delta Mendoza. Oh, yeah, I can see you. Irving López, Marcelino Jacob, Marcelino, so with Marvin Andrés, and your teacher. Perdón que sí lo había seleccionado. Lo escuché. Bueno, bueno, ahorita estoy Volviendo a revisar. Norma Martínez. Present. Okay, okay. Roxana Mejía. Roxana Mejía, no. Pues ellos son así. Okay. Preguntas, dudas. Okay. Now I need you to practice moving on to the following part. I need you to look at the example, John, and write at least five sentences by using possessive adjective. In your notebooks, I need you to write five examples with possessive adjective. Let me show you some examples. My name is Paul. Her last name is Rodriguez. His name is Josué. And their names are Maria, Liz, and Gabriel. Okay. I need you to follow these examples and write in your number five. Five sentences, please. Be clear? All we have to do. Do us con lo que vamos a hacer ahorita. Vamos a escribir ahorita cinco, cinco ejemplos utilizando los adjectives. Let's go. I will give you some time and then I will listen to you. Let's go. Trabajemos ahorita. Cuando hemos terminado, pueden levantar su mano. Raise your hand. Okay. Si hay dudas, preguntas, pueden hacer. Do you finish? 
Yeah, I finished. Yeah. Thank Thank you, Yolanda. Okay, uh, Marity, could you help us with your example, please? We will read okay. examples. Okay, TJ. Uh, I speak about my family. My name is Neftali Andres. About my father, his name is Mario. About my mother, her name is Elba Luz. About my pets, their names are Canela, Perla, and Hachi. Thank you. Excellent. That was cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Do you want to help us? Me, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, your name is Samuel. His name is Leticia. Our names are Marta, Marvin, and Yolanda. Her name is Christina. Its name is Simba. Okay. Listen, uh, number two, do you say his name is Leticia? Lo dijo de esa forma? His name? Her, Her name is Leticia. Okay. Yeah, I ask you again because I listen his. I listen his. But yeah, her name is Leticia. Very nice. Thank you, Jonathan. Anybody else is ready? Super About my family and so yeah. Uh, their their name is um, Maria. Mean uh, Anna, uh, her last name uh, Osorio, uh, my name is Isaac. Okay, only that? Yes, thank you. Good, good. Uh, just wanted to be some observations, Jose. Their names are. As I said, their names is. Their names are. Okay. And remember to complete the idea. For example, if, if you say her name is. Her name is. Okay. Hold that answer. Very good. Thank you. Somebody else? Now the participant. Don't be shy. Don't be timid. I think Mercedes, we have no Mercedes, yeah, please help us. Thank you. Let's go. Their book are red. My computer is large. My brother is very intelligent. My name is Mirna Errador and study club of English. It's my cell phone. Okay, okay. Can you repeat number one, please? Can I repeat the number The reboots are red. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, very good. Thank you, Mirna. That was awesome. Somebody else? Another participant? Mirna Batres, good. Please help us. Help us with your examples. Let's go. Go ahead, Mirna. My brother lives in Nicaragua. Her car is red. His favorite soccer team is Barcelona. Their song are Juliana and Roxana. Okay, good. Just with the last one, Mirna, when you say uh, son, you're referring to a boy. When you say son, uh, you're referring to a boy. Children. Exactly, children. children. When you say daughter, you're Daughter. referring to a girl. Daughter. In this case, because you're saying a girl in a, in a boy, you have to say their, their children are. Okay, thank you. It's a pleasure. Yeah, because son is for, for boys and daughter is for girls. Because we say the children are Diana and Carlos, for example. Okay. Very good. Another possibility is kids. Kids. Okay. Thank you, Mina. That was awesome. Somebody else? Another participant? No seamos females, okay? No tengamos better. Volunteer or victims? What do you prefer? Voluntarios or victims? Okay, I will select another participant. Uh, Rolando, please, can you help us with your examples, Rolando? Okay. Yeah, their names are yeah, Teresa Maria, yeah, Julie, and um, yeah, Oscar. Her last name is uh, Hernandez. His name is brother uh, Roberto. Okay, okay, excellent. Thank you. Very good, let's go with Eduardo. Eduardo wants to participate. Let's go Eduardo. It's my computer. Here, blue ace. My last name is Vasquez. His house is small. My mother is teacher. My mother? It's teacher. It's a teacher. It's a teacher. A teacher. Okay. Eduardo, can you repeat number one and number two? Puede repetir la primera y la segunda? It's my computer. Her blue eight. Her, sorry, her. Maybe be number two, sir. Yeah. Here blue eight. Eight. L. Do you say her? Her blue? Uh -huh. Blue eight. Eyes. Eyes. Uh -huh. Eyes. Eyes. Okay, listen. In this case, you can say her blue eyes mm -hmm. are beautiful. Okay, they're referring to a woman. Her blue eyes are beautiful. Because if you say if you say her blue eyes, that is correct. That is correct. But you have to complete the sentence. Her blue eyes are beautiful. Oh, and we're referring to a woman. Okay. That was perfect. That was perfect. Thank you. Just keep in mind these. 
no, no olvide complementar la opción. Si solamente dice do ice, está correcto. Claro que sí. Pero debemos de complementar la oración. Debemos de tener un verbo y un objetivo. No sé. Her blue eyes are beautiful. Thank you. Okay, I will go with Ingrid. Ingrid, can you give us some examples, please? Uh, my name is Ingrid. Uh, her name is Margaret. Name is Fernando. Their name are Delmi, Eduardo, and Evelyn. It is Rocco. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go with William. William, can you give us your examples, please? Okay. My name is William. Uh, her last name is Diaz. His name is Jose. Their names are Jose, Miguel, and Carlos. Um, I have a pet. I have a dog. It's uh, it's. I have a dog. His name is Otis. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Listen. Something that I want to point out here. Now that William said a pet, as a pet, we tend to refer to dogs, cats, hamsters, turtles, etc. Uh, well, we didn't say I have a I have a dog, right? Yeah, we can say its name is again doggy, right? Or its name is Pelusa, as referring to a cat. In this case, people tend to say like if it is a female or it is a male, they say his, they say her. For example, his name is um, say meow. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a boy or it's a male, or her name is, let's talk about a dog, the name is Canela. Muchas veces tendemos a, a utilizar esas formas también. His name, tendemos a un varón, por ejemplo, un perro, un gato, o her name is Canela. Igual, menos un, o sea, en caso, una hembra, un gato, un perro, etc. Podemos utilizar esa forma. ¿sí? ¿Okay? Y pues en muchos casos, muchos casos es porque a lo mejor fue identificado, así que, que ya sea un perro, un gato, es parte de la familia. ¿Ok? So you can use them. Ok. Well, um, I want to listen to somebody else. Do we have another volunteer? Then we next, please help us then. Tell me. Let's go. Okay. My family is very happy. Leticia is my friend. Her last name is Beltran. My brother, his name is Jose. I have three pets. Their name is our Polo, Beethoven, and Masha. Okay, good, good. Only with the last. Me remember, their names are, their names are, because you're saying three, 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 three pets. Yeah. Three pets. Their names are, say Polo, Polo, right? Polo, Beethoven, and Masha. In Masha, okay, good. All right, only that. So this is fine, Delmi. Thank you, that was amazing. All right, um, let's see, I have another participant. Kevin, please. Um, my name is Kevin, I am a medical student. My cousin last name is Reyes. His name is Mauricio. He is the older brother of the family. And Mauricio has two brothers, their name are Angel, Josue, and Antonio. 
Okay, okay. Can you repeat number four, Kevin? Para repetir la la cuarta. Sí, um, Mauricio has two brothers. Their name are Angel, Josué, and Antonio. Okay, okay. Fue entonces la la anterior, la penúltima. Ah, okay. His name is Mauricio. He is the older brother of this family. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome, teacher. Yeah, okay. Well, everybody, any questions about how we use possessive adjectives? Is everything clear? Preguntas? Cerca de possessive adjectives? No. Huh? Okay. Well, listen, we're going to stop right here with this session. But before to go, I want to take another screenshot. Okay, like I said before. Quiero tomar otra captura, como decía un momento, porque puedo tomar dos capturas por lo menos. Okay, por favor, si podemos. Perfect. Thank you. Well, we're going to start right here, guys. So if you have any consultant, is it? Uh, one question. Tell me. Si, como, como enviaron un mensaje para eso de, de comprobante que tenemos que llenar. Y enviar el correo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ajá. ¿A cuál correo sería el que nos aparece ahí en el mensaje? Exacto. En el, si, si les recibieron el mensaje en el cual les enviaron el comprobante y les, les explicaron de, de qué deben de hacer, si se les apuntó un correo ahí, ese correo deben de, a ese correo deben enviar. Si se les notificó que debían de enviarlo por WhatsApp, escuché a alguien que dijo que se lo habían, les pidieron que lo enviaran por WhatsApp, Sí, me equivoco. Pero si les han notificado, yes. les han enviado en ese mismo mensaje, deben de enviar ese correo. Les recomiendo que lo enviemos al correo. ¿Okay? Porque si lo envían por WhatsApp, ah, pero si se les han dicho de esa forma, no se preocupen. Porque por lo general les dicen de que deben de enviarlo a ese correo. Por ejemplo, con la adelante con esto, con la documentación que envían ustedes para, para la inscripción del siguiente módulo, que eso es como la tercera semana, segunda o tercera semana, si no me equivoco, eso les piden que lo envíen a un correo específico. Si lo envían por WhatsApp, no se lo van a recibir, no se lo van a tomar como que lo hayan enviado. Debemos de seguir las instrucciones y enviarlo a ese correo. Recuerden, deben de imprimirlo, llenarlo, firmarlo, luego escanearlo y enviarlo. Tienen hasta mañana. Teacher. Yeah. Este, pero fíjese que yo, bueno, es que ni, ya busqué en el correo, pero tampoco no encuentro el, el comprobante, sino que yo lo he tomado de, el, porque en el grupo subieron um, el link donde se descarga. Ok, bueno, si gustan, vamos a hacer una cosa. Voy a, porque no estoy al tanto de eso, no sé si, me imagino que les han pedido que lo envíen al correo, o no sé si alguien puede compartir quizás la captura de cuando se les envían las indicaciones. ¿No? Que, creo que todos lo han recibido. Debemos de, de buscar bien los correos. Si pues alguien puede compartir. Si no, yo pregunto entre ahora y mañana esa información se lo puede compartir. Ok. Es que, bueno, so for today, everybody, thank you for being here. We will continue tomorrow with a new class. Have a good night. Stay safe. And God bless you. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. See you good tomorrow. Night. Good night. Good night teacher. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. For sure. Good, good night. Thank you.